Hello all, welcome back to the Logaloop tutorial series. In this third video of the series, we will cover some basic functions within the looper. To open the commands panel, find it in the palette window or with the keyboard shortcut Command E. You can program any keyboard shortcut by opening the settings window and clicking the keyboard thumbnail. Here, you can configure your shortcuts exactly as you like. All you have to do is select the MIDI command, record for example. Then select the desired key combination. You can also use these commands with a controller or a program change. Back in the looper, we'll begin by recording a loop. All you have to do is hit record to begin, and again to stop. To delete all tracks of the loop, hold record. This is the same as clicking the erase button. I'll record a new loop. The green bar above the loop is the maximum loop time, configurable in the session settings. Below in red is the sync bar. The vertical green line within the loop is the playhead. Moving on, I'll show you how to record overdubs over the original track. Just hit overdub and you'll see that overdubs begin recording immediately and keep creating new tracks until you hit overdub again. To delete these tracks, just hit undo. There are two additional modes for the overdub function. Mix mode and replace mode. After you've recorded an overdub, you can switch to mix mode. In this mode, you can alter the number to the right of the mix mode button. Varying from 1 to 100, this sets the erase rate of the last track in the looper. At 0, nothing is erased, and at 100, the track is fully erased with each pass. This mode is practical for layering multiple voices on one track. Replace mode is the same as mix mode, with the erase level set at 100. This can be useful for composition. You can just play until you find a phrase you like, then stop overdubs to keep the latest loop. Now I'll hold record to delete all tracks and begin a new recording. As you can see, the overdub button is not precise timing-wise. If you want to record perfectly in line with the main loop, use the multiply function. Multiply does not begin recording immediately, but waits till the end of the loop to begin a new track. Once you exceed the length of the longest loop, multiply will keep going as long as you like, and multiplies the length of the shorter loops so you can keep playing. The multiply coefficient lets you determine the number of multiplications beforehand. Multiply will automatically stop recording after the selected number of multiplications. Here I've set it to 2. And after 2 loops, the recording stops. You'll also notice that Logaloop sends you messages to let you know where you are in the function. Importantly, if you perform several multiply functions over each other, the main loop will remain the longest loop in length. There is also a second multiply mode, set by the No Copy button. In this mode, the track or tracks above the recording track will not be multiplied. Now on to the rest of the commands. The mute button mutes the audio at the end of the loop. 
to mute immediately, double click mute. If you want to cut the sound smoothly, use the auto fade button. The number to the right of the auto fade button determines the length of the fade. If I set it to 2, the fade occurs over a length of 2 loops. When the fade is done, the mute button is activated. You can fade back in the same way. Up next is the Next Loop button. Log a loop gives you three loops to work with, A, B, and C, which you can easily switch between in the counter window. When I click B, the next loop command is activated. By clicking A, B, or C, the loop will change at the end of the current loop. I'll record a loop in B, and a loop in C. With next loop, you can easily toggle between loops A and B, but by default, next loop never switches to C. If you want to switch from A to B to C and back to A, you can do that in settings. As you can see, now I can go from A to B to C and back. Next we have the undo button, which cancels the recording of the latest loop, and the panic button, labeled urgence, which stops a command currently being executed. This button can only stop commands such as mute, fade, multiply, and next loop that take effect at the beginning of the next loop. Commands like erase and record that take effect immediately cannot be canceled with the panic button. In the next tutorial, we'll cover the rest of the available loop commands. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.